Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2017 Forerunner Limited. Now the most notable features on the Limited is its power moonroof, its heat and cooled front seats, as well as its parking sensors. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2017 Forerunner Limited. Let's get started. To start we're going to be taking a look at a couple of the exterior features that you will see on the Limited package. One of them being is your chrome styling on your front grille. And then you also have your fog lamps as well as your daytime running lights. And then if we take a look at your front bumper here, you're going to see your parking sensors as well as your plug-in block heater. On the side, you have your 20-inch aluminum alloy wheels. On your mirrors, you have your integrated signal lamps as well as your Portex generators. You have your heated mirrors. One of the other nice things with the limited package is it does come with a smart key system. So with the smart key system, you can actually lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on these two little lines you see here on the handle. So once you just press it once, it'll lock all the doors automatically. And to actually open up the front door for yourself, all you have to do is put your hand between the handle and unlock the front door for you. Now this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times. You also have your running boards and your roof rack. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is metallic black. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver's seat with lumbar support. Over on your left hand side, you have your mirror controls as well as your on and off button for your uh, parking sensors as well as your window wiper de uh, de-icer sorry and your on and off switch for your power outlet. Located on the inside of your driver's side door you have your window locks, power locks, window controls both your front and rear windows as well as your seat memory controls for your driver 1 and driver 2. A couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel are your scroll function as well as your back, mode select, volume, bluetooth voice recognition and display with your cruise control. One of the other nice things with the limited package is it does come with a push button start so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button and then it'll start up for you. And then with the small tie informational display you can go through many of the different menus, uh, your uh, cruising range as well as your lapse time and a couple of other additional features are located on here as well. And if you take a look at the bottom uh, left hand side of your screen you're going to see your digital compass and on the right side you'll see your exterior temperature gauge. Now we're going to be taking a look at your Saturn dash as well as your touch panel display. If you take a look at the very top, you're going to see your digital clock, you have your hazard lights, and then if we head into your apps menu, you're going to see your navigation audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. You have your dual zone climate control settings just located down below with your front, rear, and mirror defroster over on your right hand side. Located just down below, you have your USB and auxiliary with your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger. One of the cool things with this is that you can adjust the temperature for either your cold or your warm side just accordingly, just by using it like a dial. And then once you have the desired temperature that you would like for your heated or cooled seat side, then you just push the button in just so that it doesn't move around just in case you're trying to hook up your USB and your auxiliary or your power outlet. Located down below you have your 4x4 selector mounted to a 5 speed automatic transmission. As you can see you can has, uh, have this uh, wood grain trim in the limited package as well. And then you also have your open and close for your power rear window. At the very top you have your auto dimming rear view mirror. And at the very top you're going to see your integrated garage door opener. As well as your open and close for your power moonroof with your tilt up and down feature just so you can have a bit of a breeze flowing through here. You also have your traction control on and off as well as your A-Track and your downhill assist control. And at the very front you're going to find your sunglass case holder but in the event that you do forget your sunglasses you do have your visor extenders just located on your driver and passenger side just so it can block out some of the light just while you're driving. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now located on the back of your tailgate, you're going to find your backup camera just located on your left hand side. Rear hatch release will be located just underneath your Warren emblem. And I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo area just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now if you take a look over on your right hand side, you're going to see your power outlet where you can hook up your electronics in and an additional power outlet just in case your third row passengers want to plug in their digital devices. Now the nice thing with your third row is that you can actually fold down flat into the floor. It's a 50-50 split so you have two seats in the back and to actually have them folded up all you have to do is just pull on this piece here, fold it up, headrests are just located right behind you here, fold that up as well and then in the event that you need the entire um, 
rear cargo space as well as uh, having your third row seats folded down as well. All you have to do is just pull on this piece here on your right hand side and the headrest will fold down for you. And then by pulling on the piece on the left hand side it will actually fold down into the floor for you. Now one of the things I like with this uh, rear tailgate is that you can actually open up your power rear window from the outside as well. So in order to do that, just make sure you have your key fob on you at all times. Just push uh, down on the arrow and it'll actually roll down the window for you. So in the event that you need to throw a couple of things in the back seat just without having to turn on the vehicle and just rolling down the window, you can just do it from the outside instead. Now the other great thing about this is you can actually have it opened up part way just in case you do have any pets that are sitting in the rear here just so they can get a little bit of air. And then once you've actually closed up the window fully, the one thing you don't have to worry about is that the doors will not be unlocked. They actually lock themselves just once you've rolled up the window. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-306-1005. Or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.